Hello everyone and welcome to another comic book video. So today we're going to talk about DC Archive Editions. Now I mentioned these in the previous video some time back where I talked about some different um, reprints of old comics and stuff like that, but I thought today we'll just focus specifically on the DC Archive Editions. So what are DC Archive Editions? DC Archive Editions are reprints of comics from the gold and silver and bronze age from um, DC properties. So not all of these were actually characters and stuff that originally were created or owned by DC until much later. Some of them were actually first start out with other companies such as Shazam who would just start out with Fawcett or the Blue Beetle who would just start out with Charlton. But eventually these characters got um, bought up by DC and so DC is just going to go ahead and just do some of these um, reprints. So these are just a way for fans to be able to read some of these early stories without having to um, try and buy the original issues, um, especially since a lot of them are very expensive. So it just gives the, um, the fans a chance to read some of these classic stories. So the series ran from 1989 to 2014. After 2014, they stopped this and started doing what they call omnibus editions, which are pretty much kind of the same thing, but they're usually, you can get them like in um, paperback form instead of the hardcover, and they may not be as expensive. A lot of these DC archive editions, when they first came out, were fairly expensive. So, um, they went ahead and did quite a few of these, over 160 of them were made during that time period. And not only do they focus on some of the big characters, such as Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, they also kind of did some um, earlier characters, and maybe not as well-known characters, like they did the original Sandman from the Golden Age, the original Doctor Fate from the Golden Age. So just kind of emphasizing different characters throughout DC's history. So I brought in the ones I have in my collection today. So the first one I brought in is um, Batman Archives. This is actually a reprint of some of the very early Detective Comics issues. This runs from Detective Comics 27 through 50. Now these specifically only have the Batman stories from those issues. A lot of these early series were anthologies, so multiple characters would appear in just one comic. So of course Batman was just one character in these, um, in these comics. So this only just is a reprint of just his stories. But in some of those very early stories there, just before he even um, I've got Robin, though, for Robin's first appearance is in this collection as well. And so it's in just a nice hardcover. Of course, they did reprints of the stories and some of the old advertisements and stuff. So just some, and they really tried to kind of update some of the artwork and stuff. So it's still the same artwork. They just tried to um, revitalize it or just make it look nicer and cleaner. So that's the first one I have. This one actually also covers the period of 1939 to 1941 of the Detective Comics series. I also have another one. This is actually volume four. I don't have two or three. Like I said, they're kind of expensive. And since they're now out of print, they're a little harder to find now. But this one um, covers the period of 1944 to 1945 and has issues of 87 to 102. And these, all of these stories also have um, Robin featured in them as well. The next one is actually Batman the Dark Knight Archives. This actually reprints Batman 1 through 4. So Batman was such a popular character, they decided to give him his own um, comic series, um, Batman. And so all the stories in those comics were actually then featuring um, Batman as well. So you would have two or three different stories just with Batman. So... Um, this is from 1940 and just covers those first four issues of Batman. The next one I have is a non-Batman. I am a big Batman fan, so which is why most of the ones I have are Batman. But the next one I have, I actually managed to find this one at Ollie's. And so Ollie's actually had a couple of these um, for very cheap, so I picked them up just because I said for most department, whenever I see these, they're usually fair expensive. They usually run about um, $50 or more. Um, so if I can find them pretty cheap, I usually try and pick them up. So this one is Legion of Superheroes, um, Volume 3. This, takes, this deals with the stories from 1964. So this deals with Adventure Comics, 318 to 328, Superman's Pound, Jimmy Olsen, Issue 76, 
and Superboy 117, specifically his stories from those issues that deal directly with the Legion of Superheroes. So the, this is a nice, um, just a Silver Age edition. A lot of the three Batmans I have are Golden Age. This is a nice silver one. And the other one I have is World's Finest Archive Volume Number 2. This deals with the World's Finest comic series. This was a series that kind of had like team-ups with um, Batman, Robin, and Superman. They all came up together to face different villains or foes or doing different things as well. So this is also Silver Age. This covers the 1957-1959 time period. And this is issues 86 to 101. And like I said, it's just those stories where it just has Batman, Robin, Superman, kind of the big characters for um, DC at the time just teaming up and working together. So some pretty interesting um, stories. Of course, by the late 50s, DC was doing the stories were a lot more um, kid-friendly and kind of campy and stuff. So some of the stories that are interesting here, like they're having um, Superman dig up two buildings from Metropolis to do a demonstration of one of his big battles and something like that. So it's just some very interesting, very goofy stories. So, But that's everything I have for today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, just go ahead and give it a like, and I will see you next time. Bye.